what's going on everybody welcome back to supreme tech this video got a real cool one for you um we're gonna be unboxing this b550 motherboard um this is msi um gaming pro or gaming plus rather so we're gonna open this up uh, i got this to go with my zen 3 ryzen 5600x so if you guys are looking in a zen 3 there's only a couple motherboards that you can get that will uh, be compatible with these so make sure to look into that um, the B550 being one of them. I was going to go for the X570, but this one is about $70 less, so I decided to go with the 550. And there's pretty much nothing that I'm missing out on with getting this. Uh, once we go through this, once we unbox it, I'm going to go over all the stuff that might make you not want to get this motherboard and maybe go for the X570 instead, um, especially if you're going for the Zen 3 uh, Ryzen's. But with all that said, um, let's get right into the video. Also, if you're new, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button. Really helps out the channel. You know, as right now, we're switching up the content a lot. So make sure to subscribe. It really helps us out here. Um, and let's go ahead and unbox this B550. All right, everybody. So we got the B550 MSI Gaming Plus version. Um, let's go ahead and open this motherboard up. But before we do, I just want to show you the box it's socket am4 b550 they got pcie 4.0 only for the graphics and one of the nvmes um they got another nvme ssd ready um, another thing this is uh, compatible with the ryzen 5000 series cpus and that is part of the reason why i got it See, it says you got your third gen AMD Ryzen desktop processor compatible. Um, note, this is not compatible with the Ryzen 5 3400G and the Ryzen 3 3200G. So if you got one of those processors, I'm sorry, but this ain't going to work for you. Um, I'm going to just go over what's on the box. You guys can read it yourself. Pause it if you want. Just showing you what's on every side of the box. Okay. And then we got the back. Now the back. This is, uh, it says you got Core Boost, digital power design for multi-core CPU, obviously. I don't even know why they put that on there. DDR4 ready um, for the RAM. You got Lightning Gen 4 M.2. So that's the newest gen 4 um, then you got gen 4 pcie slot so that's for just one of your graphics cards if you have one it's only going to have one slot then you got audio boost flash bios button which is pretty nice i like that mystic light um, easy led control pre-installed io shielding extreme heat sink design m.2 shield um, that's right here for your M.2 SSD airflow optimized um, It's got PWM DC fan and pump ready with MSI case and liquid cooling kits um, And other liquid cooling kits obviously, but it doesn't have to be MSI, but that's the IO Okay, now let's open this bad boy up now, I've been wanting to get an AMD build for the longest time. Um, I got an Intel build right now, but I really don't like it. Uh, I got an i7-10700. I mean, it really runs decent with the 2060 Super I got. But I just want Ryzen, honestly, because one, their um, Zen 3 architecture, I like that. I like how um, fast it is. It's really killing stuff, right? And I just like Ryzen, you know, the look, honestly, the look and the functionality of it. But we got our motherboard here. And what I always recommend doing, guys, never grab it by the middle or anything like that. Just grab it by the sides or by the I.O. But what I always want you to do when you open the box, just close it. Okay. And then you always put your motherboard on top of the box. That is for a couple of reasons. One, it helps with the static electricity. And two, it's just an elevated platform for you to work. 
Um, but we're what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this out of the bag and we're gonna put the motherboard on top of the box. Okay, here we go. Now, as you can see, we got four um, DDR4 RAM slots. We got our M.2 SSD with the heat sink over it, or the shield, I mean. Um, then you got your graphics card, PCIe Gen 4. Um, you got your CPU socket. You got your I.O. right here, if you can't see that. Let's go ahead and turn that up. That's what the I.O. looks like. We got all that stuff there. Sorry about the camera. I'm trying to get it in best focus as I can. But um, what I like about this is you got a USB-C here. And then I also got another one on my case. So that's two. You got your flash BIOS button up here. And you got everything else you need, right? Um, it's got HDMI display port. Um, Ethernet, obviously. Now, one thing, I'm not positive, actually if this one has Wi-Fi but what I always tell people don't buy a motherboard or don't not buy a motherboard if it's only missing Wi-Fi because any motherboard can get Wi-Fi just by buying you know a couple dollars it's called a dongle now you just go look for a dongle Wi-Fi dongle um, and you'll be set you don't need to spend you know 50 more bucks on this motherboard just because it has Wi-Fi but this is it. This is a B550. Um, hopefully you guys subscribe to the channel and you can come and watch me when I build this other one. I'm going to put the Ryzen 5 5000 series Zen 3 CPU. Try to get a Ryzen 7, but I couldn't find one um, for a decent price, right? You got scalpers all over the place doing some crazy stuff, crazy prices. But um, I couldn't find the 7 or the 9 for a decent price. I just got this one for 300 at the local Best Buy. Um, that might be honestly one of the best ways to go for your CPUs um, is looking at a Best Buy or Micro Center or Newegg, but Newegg seems to be out of stock all the time. Um, or you can just buy a pre-built, especially with the graphics card situation right now. You guys can just go ahead and buy a pre-built and get it for the graphics card that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy a pre-built with a 3080 in it pretty much just for the 3080 so <laughs> that's the sad truth about the gpu market right now um other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the video i just wanted to unbox this b550 motherboard um zen 3 ready just want to remind you that so if you guys are thinking about getting a zen 3 chip then you guys will be set um, the other kind of motherboard that you can get is a X570. They're a little bit more expensive than the B550s, but they also got more than one NVMe uh, M.2 slot Gen 4. I think they got two of them. And they got two um, PCIe. And they got two Gen 4 uh, PCIe's for your graphics card. So that's something that you want and i know they got wi-fi too but like i said who cares about wi-fi anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video comment down below if you have any questions or if you need help with something i'll be sure to get back to you uh subscribe to the channel you know we're getting 22,000 subscribers really helps us out thanks for watching everybody and i'll catch you in the next one